so far we've been using our scanner in its full automatic mode, which works great as long as we can change the size of the scan, scan big, to create a unique file name, and to define where the pictures are going to be stored inside of our computer. Full automatic mode works great for borderless prints. But when we start running into these old family photographs that are faded of different sizes that have borders, we may need to use a different scanning mode. My particular scanner has three different operating modes, an automatic, a home or intermediate mode, and an advanced mode. The automatic mode does not allow me to select what portions of the picture to scan. When I select the home mode, I have a number of new options, the first of which is document type. If I have photo prints, I select photograph. If I have anything that came from a printing press, like a clipping from a newspaper or a magazine or a book, you can use these specialized settings. Next we have image type, color, that's self-explanatory, grayscale, those are black and white photographs, and then black and white, which is black text or line art on white paper. From my school of hard knocks, I've learned to scan everything in color. This ensures the image can be output on any kind of device, whether it's a printer, a monitor, or a smartphone. In destination, we now control the size of the scan with two adjustments, resolution and target size. We know that we need a base resolution of 300 dpi for any scan. My scanning software gives me three resolution choices. We have screen web, which is really too small for our needs. Printer, which selects our base resolution of 300 dpi or other, which allows us to select from a range of resolution settings. I'm going to bypass target size for the moment and jump down to the biggest edition in the home scanning mode to preview our scan. When I click on preview, a second window opens and the scanner performs a quick scan. I can now select the area to be scanned in this preview. Place the cursor into the preview area, hold down your left mouse button and drag, and a selection box appears. I can adjust the size of the selection area by dragging any edge to a new position. I can adjust two sides at once by dragging a corner. And to reposition the entire box, place the cursor inside the box, left click and drag. If I know for a fact that I will want to crop a picture to a person or to an area or to get rid of the borders, I'll crop it in the scan. This saves me time. I don't have to fix the picture later by opening it up in photo editing software. So I have an 8x10 picture that I scanned to its original size and it looked great. But when I tried to make a 4x6 photo print, the image was cropped. Why? It's a matter of proportion. The proportion between today's standard photo print sizes of 4x6, 5x7, and 8x10 do not match between each other. This is especially true when you scan old square pictures as square, then try to print them in today's standard print sizes. Through my school of hard knocks, I've learned to scan pictures to the proportions of a standard print size. If there's going to be cropping, I'm going to do it in the scan. My Epson scanning software includes standard print size proportions in the target size setting. When I choose a target size, the preview selection tool increases and decreases in the exact proportion of the selected size. For old square pictures that I know will be cropped in printing, I will crop the picture myself to a standard print size. Once I pick a target size and select the area to be scanned, I will also adjust the resolution accordingly, like 800 dpi for a 4x6 image or 600 dpi for a 5x7. 